We're going to talk more about distance um, and finding length, the distance formula. So we did talk about, uh, and there was a question like this on your test, um, the distance, this is, sorry, I know you're so excited, distance formula. Well, technically it's finding length, colon, distance formula. So... I just put distance formula, but you can put those other words if you want. Okay, so we did talk about uh, the distance formula being distance equals the absolute value of 0.1 or 0.2 minus 0.1 or 0.1 minus 0.2. So for example, like on a number line, if you had two points here, like right here, right here between a1 and a2 well what's the distance it's just going to be three minus one absolute value of that absolute value of two is just two so it's two units they're two units apart right obviously you could just take your finger and count right don't count the first one because you haven't gone a distance yet but one two you could do that now it doesn't matter if it's a2 minus a1 or a1 minus a2 because when you take the absolute value of it it all goes away so if you said this absolute value of 1 minus 3 well that's just the absolute value of negative 2 which is also 2 so it doesn't matter what you subtract um, if this was a little bit trickier on a number line like this and this is 433 and 658 it doesn't matter which one you subtract, just ignore the negative sign if you get a negative sign, okay? It's liberating. You don't have to like put a subtraction problem in the right order. You just feel like you're doing it and you're smarter than the calculator. It's liberating. Okay. So we won't do these examples because you basically just did one of these on your test. But this is for a number line, okay? This is the distance formula for a number line. On a number line. Now, what happens if it's on a coordinate plane? On a coordinate plane, it's different. So I'm gonna tell you the distance formula, and you're gonna throw up a little bit in your mouth, but then I'm going to explain it and you're gonna be like, oh, okay. This is great. Yay. Did you throw up? That's a little bit more complicated than the absolute value of A2 minus A1, right? Um, what happens when you square negative three? What do you get? Uh, you get positive nine. I should have said, clarified. You squaring all of negative three, parenthesis negative three. You get positive nine. What happens when you square three? You still get positive nine. So see how in here it doesn't matter the order either because when you square it, it's still gonna be positive. So it doesn't matter if it's x2 minus x1. I think the book says x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1. It doesn't matter. Just, just subtract them and square that number. Okay? Now, what does this kind of look like? Does it look like something else you've seen? Yes. It actually does, and I can't put my finger on it, but it was in algebra, and it was um, you subtract x x2 and x1 and y2 or y2 and y1 and x2 I saw this yep. and you and you subtract it to like get the slope or something yes like so that's the slope formula so the slope is like y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 very similar to that so you're basically calculating the rise over run right so this is kind of the same thing but let me show you 
uh, this will kind of make more sense when I show you on a graph. I do have my, but I don't have anywhere to hang my graph thing. So I'm just gonna. What if you put it on like one of the like doors to the. To this? Yeah, yeah. that could work. Are these, do these, are these our things or are they the churches? You can put it on. Most teachers, if they have one like this, they put stuff on this. Yeah, like the little, what do you call them? Orders. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'm just going to fake it here. So here's a coordinate plane. Uh, it's going to be mostly positive here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I want to find the distance between 1, 2, and 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so obviously you can't just, you can't just go along the line because this distance is not one unit. That's not one unit. It's a little bit more than one unit. So you can't do it that way. So without using the distance formula, any suggestions on how I would find the length, the distance between these two points? Oh, you just count them. Count well, them again, you can't do that because this, like the distance from here to here, like what, what are you counting? I They're going diagonal, that. so. Wouldn't it just be the formula we were just talking about? It is, but why the, why does that make sense? There's another way to do this, and this is where they derive the formula. Any guesses? It's your, you're, you're on a stranded, uh, stranded on an island, and you have to do this to save you and hundreds of others. This is how you get a hold of the boat that will come and rescue you. So hey. trying to find the equation or the slope or whatever. Trying to figure out the distance. How many units is it from here to here? Well, you can't. This is going to sound so stupid. I just know it. That's so, so what make, Tess would say. Make, <laughs> make, a, make a line thing, like connect the dots. Yep, connecting. That, and you can get a, 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 a ruler, maybe. Yep, and measure it. <laughs> yeah. You could do it that you way. Make a triangle. But well. these are different units. They're not inches or centimeters. These are just, just random units. Oh, okay. Yes, Tobin. Couldn't you make a triangle and then do more okay. formulas? That I is. Now, what kind of triangle is this? Oh, right triangle. Right triangle. And you know how to find the third side of a right triangle if you're given the two sides. Well, guess what? Can you figure out what these two sides lengths are? Yeah, you can just figure out the dis distance between the two x values and the distance between the two y values. Okay, so there's, um, what is that? One, two, three units. And that's one, two, three, four units. Okay, and then you can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared to figure that out. Well, look what we're doing, okay? So this is gonna be five. Here's why it's five. Because three squared is nine, four squared is 16. So nine plus 16 is 25. So C squared has to be 25, so C has to equal five, yes. It's also one of the three triangles they wanted you to remember. Of the yep, one, two, it's a Pythagorean triplet. Three, four, yep, five. three, four, five triangle. Whenever I see that three and the four on the legs, I'm like, yes. It's an easy hypotenuse. Okay, so this is the same thing. So here's the Pythagorean theorem. Um, C squared equals A squared plus B squared, right? Pythagorean theorem, do you remember that? Okay, if I just wanted to solve for C, this would be, I'm gonna square root both sides. So it'd be A squared plus B squared. Well, where are we getting A and where are we getting B? A is the um, one and two and Line. Yeah, this line right here. So basically, it's the distance between one and four. Mm -hmm. How do you figure out the distance between two points on a number line? The first equation. Just subtract them in one. absolute value. Four minus one. How do you figure out this distance? Well, this is the difference of the y. Six minus two. You see that? So that's where that distance formula comes from. 
So A is just the difference of the x's, so x1 minus x2. And B is the distance between the y's, which is y1 minus y2, or y2 minus y1. It doesn't matter because you're squaring it. It's all going to end up positive anyway. Okay, so you can, when you are asked to find the distance between two points, you can remember this formula, or you can graph it and use the Pythagorean theorem. Either way, you're doing the same math, okay? You're still squaring stuff. Um, you're kind of subtracting stuff, but not really, because like if you do graph it, you can just count the units, how far it is, that's fine. Um, but you're still you're doing the same math, okay? All right, so why don't you guys figure out the distance between these two points, okay? Ready? Find the distance between, hold on, hold on, let me give you a good one. That'd be great, you're gonna love it. Two, three, and, oh no, oh no. Find the distance between two, three, and two, negative five. So you can either use the distance formula or you can try to graph it and do it, do it that way. Two, three, and two, negative five. If you don't overthink it, you're gonna get this answer in three seconds. Distance is just one number. How many units apart is it? I kind of overthought it already the second okay. that I looked at it. Um, are, we, are we doing the same thing as subtracting this stuff? Yeah, so you can either use this formula. So, so you can subtract the x's, subtract the y's, square them, add them together, square root it. But there's a, this one is kind of a trick question. Or you could graph it, and then you'll see on the graph that it's a special line. A special line? It's special. Wait, is it not special? Ah, this is never triangle. I should remember the answer, right? Try graphing it. See what it looks like. Yeah. So it's like on the same, it's on the top and bottom. Yeah, it's so it's a vertical so line. It doesn't give you the number for either. Well, it does give you the X's and the Y's, but if you were to graph this, it would look like this. One, two, up to three, and then down to negative five, two, negative five. And then, and then you, Right? Well, now you don't have to do a triangle, and it's impossible to do a triangle for a vertical oh. or horizontal line. Just count it. How far apart are those two points? Oh, they're, uh, eight points yeah, they're just eight units away. So when you have the same x values, it's just a vertical line. Okay, so all you have to do is subtract these two. Okay, but if you have the same y values, then what kind of line is that? You have the same y values. Let's do that one. So what's the distance between those two points? Would it be nine? It'd just be the seven. Because oh, one, okay. five, and eight, five, you're, it's just a horizontal one, okay? One, five is about right there. And then eight five is about mm -mm, right there. So it's in between this point and this point. It's a horizontal line. So all you have to do is subtract the X values. So seven. Yep. So it's seven units apart. Now you can still throw that into the distance formula, but look what would happen. So let's see, two minus two. So that's two minus two squared plus three minus negative five. So that's three minus negative five squared. So that equals zero squared plus eight squared, which equals 64 squared is 64 is eight. So you could have gotten it, but see how that was a lot of work for just a 
vertical line, okay? So if you can determine that it's vertical and you can tell if you have the same x values, then just count the distance between three and negative five, okay? If you can tell it's a horizontal line, and that would be if the y values are the same, then just count the distance between the x values. So you don't have to square it and square root it again. See how we just squared eight and then we square rooted it back to eight. You don't have to do that if because you're adding zero to that. So adding zero to that doesn't change it. So it's you never had to square it in the first place. Okay. So um, now it doesn't hurt. You just wasted a little bit of your life doing more work than you had to. But it was math, so it's not a complete waste. Right? Sure. Okay. Um, still recording. Good. All right, moving on. Uh, that's basically the gist of, of lesson nine. Good job. Congratulations. What? What are you asking? Are we done mathing for this day? Never. You're never done mathing. Okay, so back to some logic and some geometry here. We're going to do lesson 10. Pause.